What has your experience been with like with Islamophobes? I know you have a varied audience uh, previous to your reversion and now you've reverted. Um, and do you get a lot of trolling pushback? What do you think of Islamophobes now that you have come to Islam? Yeah, for me, it's absolutely ridiculous. You know, the thing is, for me as somebody on YouTube, I always had trolls and haters and whatnot. Mm -hmm. When I was a vegan, the media just would troll me and tell me how I'm emaciated and weak and I don't get protein, you know, and they were right. So <laughs> then later on, I became a meat eater, full-blown meat eater. As I said, I was a carnivore and I was eating only meat. And then the vegans, they were crying, oh, and now you kill the animals again, the innocent animals, you know. <laughs> and now it's the same. Now I have Hindus telling me, oh, and you killed the innocent cow. How could you? you know? It's like, yeah, okay. So we have this same repeating, the cow god, exactly. We have the same repeating argu arguments, quote unquote, over and over again, you know. But I heard them all before. And that's why I'm very thankful again that I went through this journey because I discovered Islam first through Islamophobia, if you will the David Woods and the rest. So mm -hmm. I saw all of those arguments. I saw all of them, you know, and I researched them myself and I validated them or discredited them by myself, you know, mm -hmm. and once I saw what it's really about, now when I see a post like that, I'm thinking to myself, okay, tough luck, you know, bad for you. May mm -hmm. Allah guide you and that's it. I'm really at ease at it. For me, it's funny, but there is not one argument that would bring me back to Christianity. And that's mm -hmm. something that people have to understand as well because before I became Muslim, I already understood fully that I cannot accept the Trinity whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, it was crystal clear. And when I was reading the Quran, I said to myself, okay, maybe I can be a monotheistic Unitarian Christian or something like that, you know? So I already left the Trinity Orthodox Christianity before I ever reverted to Islam. Mm -hmm. And therefore, there is no going back for me anyways. You know, mm -hmm. so when somebody tells me in my comment section, come back to Jesus, he loves you. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I love him too, you know, a great prophet, <laughs> all good. I don't have to worship him, you know. Yeah. That's the thing. Oh, you traded Muhammad for Jesus. No, I didn't trade anybody. Not the Those same are, prophets. Yeah. Those are prophets for us. Mm -hmm. And we worship Allah. That's it. We worship God alone. That's what we do. So therefore, yeah. with your argument, oh, but uh, Jesus was born of a virgin. Yes, we know. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> he could be born from a virgin. Moses split the sea. Fantastic. I don't have to worship those men. Yes. You know, that's the whole point why I became Muslim, because I want to worship God alone. That's it. Mm -hmm. So therefore, all of those arguments, quote unquote, yet again, are absolutely ridiculous and laughable. And I would say that they are nothing but an appeal to emotion fallacy as well. Mm -hmm. When I see Christian arguments, I don't see a true argument because it's not standing upon any firm ground, upon anything that I can rationally deduct and mm -hmm. see for myself, okay, this is correct, this is not correct. No, it's always, oh, but Jesus loves you. But you have no idea how much he loves you. Come back. And I was like, okay, where's the proof here? When I talk mm -hmm. about contradictions within the Bible, yeah, uh, 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 it's just numbers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it cannot be the word of God then. Yep. You know, so, yeah, again, trolls, et cetera, et cetera, for me, it's just comical mm -hmm. when I see them. I laugh about it. And, yeah, move yeah on. I'm the same. I don't get all heated. I'm just like, me, Allah guide you. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. I don't get upset either because I am so, you know, you have to be um, strong in yourself for your belief. Otherwise, if, if you've sure. got a, a shaky belief, you will crumble. So, yeah. Absolutely. But moreover, I know as well that, for example, back in the day when I was an Orthodox Christian, I had Muslim viewers and they would reach out to me. And I was that troll. I was that idiot. You know, they would reach out to me peacefully, kindly, would try to tell me about Islam. And I would say right away, yeah, but uh, have you seen this David Wood video? Uh, mm -hmm. Something totally silly, something that I'm embarrassed of even thinking about when I see those chats from back in the day. But the reality is I wasn't there. I just wasn't there. And it boils down to Allah guides who he was. So if you're not there, the whole world can tell you that it's the truth. You will still not see it. You know, your eyes are closed. So therefore, I really don't worry about it at all. If Allah guides them, great. It's a win for them. If not, it's a loss for them. So... Oh, good. I'm on the good side. I'm happy yeah. to be here. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah.